Hello, I'm John Folks. Let's grow someplace. Right here, I have some compost tea that I'm about to put out. And uh, let's go back and see how compost tea is made. I've been making a video over the past few weeks because it's just taken some time to do it. So uh, let's go see that video. Now come back and I'll show you how to dole it out to your plants. All right, so first step in making compost tea is getting a bucket of water. So I'm getting tap water here. Uh, problem with most uh, residential type tap water is that it's got chlorine in it or bleach or something in it to keep the germs down. And the whole idea of making compost tea is to uh, grow germs. So using chlorinated water is not a good idea, but there's two ways to get rid of it. One way is to filter it. Uh, another way is to leave it out in the sun for 24 hours or outside for 24 hours and it'll dissipate. So what I'm going to do is uh, let it dissipate and continue this video tomorrow. Okay, so we're back again to the bucket of water I left out to let the, let the uh, chlorine get out of it. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to add a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses. So any brand of uh, molasses will work, but it's important that it's unsulfured molasses. Technically we're going to add probably more than a tablespoon. There we go. It's basic molasses. And we're going to mix that up into the, uh, into the water. I like to mix this up in the water first so that I get the sugar is all throughout the entire, the entire bucket of water. And now I'm going to take a bag. Just happen to have these neat brand new clean bags I just got. We're going to take that and we're going to put some compost right from my compost pile into that bag. Icky, gross, yucky compost. Perfect for this job. Doesn't have to be full or anything. A pound or so is probably plenty. We just want a nice bunch of germs. Nematodes, enzymes, whatever, that are going to grow in this water. Um, just like that, see? Like a giant tea bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that <clears throat> under, the, uh, under the handle to hold it from going down. Now I'm going to take an a, uh, aerator for a fish tank. I just happened to get one at a yard sale cheap and I put one of these little aeration stones on it. Um, you can get them bigger, smaller, whatever. The more bubbles, the better. And we're just going to drop that into the water. In fact, we're going to try to get it to stay down, way down towards the bottom, underneath. And then we're going to plug this puppy in and wait till tomorrow. And it'll blub bubble up. And by bubbling up, it will uh, cause it will cause germs to have enough air so that we end up with the good bacteria we're looking for. And uh, it'll superinfuse the soil. The whole idea is to superinfuse the soil around your plants with the germs they need to, uh, the germs, the bugs, the nematodes that keep, keep uh, bad pests away and help feed the plant. Um, some people will even take uh, this and spray it right on the top of their plants. You know, it, it will actually disease some different bugs and will keep others just from even even messing with your plants at all. That's my hope. So uh, we're gonna put this in a cool spot and plug it in and uh, be back on tomorrow to use it up. Yep, there it is. Compost tea. Already brewed up, still bubbling. You can tell that it's just just crawling with life because it's keeping all of the uh, the bubbles there and I'm gonna go use it now on the garden I'll put you know a little cup full at every plant that I really want to give a boost and I could also take it and uh, put it in a spray bottle and spray it on the leaves of any place I feel there might be bugs and stuff because it can kind of ward those away too first let's get this here out of here Several ways we can take and use compost tea. Um, one way would be to uh, just dole it out. You know, I mean, pour it right on the roots of your plants. Um, another way would be to put it into a uh, 
a sprayer that's meant for pretty much just this because you don't want any chemicals or anything in it that would kill the germs that you've been trying to grow. Um, and you can spray it all over your plant. Um, there's a lot of different uh, microbes and diseases that you can actually give the bugs that are on the plants. So it can keep a lot of the bad, bad pests away. Um, I haven't been doing that so much this year, but uh, last year I know that it worked really well. Um, this year I've just been pouring it and using it as a, uh, as a way to add uh, microbial growth to the, uh, to the soils. And the, you know, germs and whatever will create will create more more food for the plant and therefore you have a natural um, natural way of uh, feeding your plants. Try this and I guarantee that you're gonna have some results. It's uh, probably the best way to feed plants especially in an organic garden and it's so simple. Okay so uh, pure water no chlorine. Uh, get yourself some decent compost and put it into a bag and put it in there. Aerate it. Um, make sure you add unsulfured molasses so that you can feed your germs and uh, leave it overnight and then use it use it up the next day pretty much. Um, put it on all your plants and start another batch. Uh, do you have to do it every day? Well, I don't know. It's not going to hurt. Um, I haven't done it every day and I seem to have pretty good results just getting a little bit on there and continue watering. Uh, so, once you've done those five steps and use it, let me know how, uh, how it worked for you. I'm John Folks. Grow someplace. Yeah. Um, turn it off for a second. <laughs> I'm back over the